Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and one of the most feared and dreaded yoga in astrology is the Manglik Dosh, Manglik Yoga. So I have seen many people asking me that I have Manglik Dosh in my horoscope. Uh, will I be affected by it or will I not be affected by it? All right, so I had uh, made a series on Manglik with uh, Vanita Lenkaji from VL Astrology long back, almost a year around. But here I will uh, put things in brief. And if you have not watched that series, then please watch. Uh, that will give you uh, more insights about Manglik in detail. All right. And as usual, if you're new to the channel, then please uh, subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with your Manglik friends and relatives <laughs> who know about astrology, of course. And uh, if you want a consultation from me, then you can go to my website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So what is Manglik? Manglik says, the Manglik dosh means that uh, there are issues in married life. I mean, people think it that way. So when does this yoga occur? This yoga occurs when Mars is the planet which causes this yoga is in the ascendant or it is in the second house, then it's in the fourth house, then it's in the seventh house, then it's in the eighth house, then it's in the twelfth house. All right. So these are the places, these six places where uh, we could say that uh, Manglik Dosh occurs. Okay. Because from these houses, somehow or the other, Mars is linked to the uh, houses of marriage. Okay. So from the ascendant, it aspects the seventh. From second, it is already placed in second, which is a house of marriage. Then from fourth, it aspects the seventh, which is again the house of marriage. Then if it is in seventh, it is already in the seventh. Then if from the eighth, it aspects the second. Primarily an eighth house is also the house of in-laws. And then from 12th, it aspects the second again. So they say that this these placements cause Mangli Yoga. So now, many people say, uh, the new age astrologers, they say that Mangli Yoga has to also be seen from the moon, which means uh, keeping moon as the ascendant from there you have to judge these placements. Okay. So now the fact is, if you consider from moon also, and now some people say you must consider it from Venus also. So if you take so many considerations, you will see almost 80 to 90 percent of the people in this world, they are Mangliks. Well, which is true in one sense, because almost 80 to 90 percent of the people, they have uh, issues in their married life. All right. So you will never find a uh, married life uh, a couple who has never had any kind of issues all right you'll never find that so the statement uh, is not an exaggeration that oh what is this yoga this yoga doesn't work you know, six houses is like half of the population and then from moon and from venus well that's that's the fact of life almost everybody has uh, problems some not 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 those uh, daily issues but they have real problems, some serious problems. Most of the couples that I know, at least in my life. Now, that doesn't mean that they have uh, separated or they are not staying together or they hate each other. But somehow the issues are there and that's how the material world is designed. But now when we are talking of this video that will Manglik those affect you or not, we are not talking of some uh, small day-to-day -day problems, you know, which happens in every couple. But we are talking of some serious problems like, you know, or getting divorced or you know, indulging in violence or anything of that sort. You know. And so those are really very serious issues. If that is these things are happening, then it's really very serious. All right. So today we will see uh, when does these issues uh, happen and when does it not happen. Okay. So, and this is uh, primarily based on my experience. This, the, some of these things are mentioned in the classics. But not all of these I have seen. Okay, so I will list down the factors, and you can take it for plus and minus also. Okay, so now uh, first of all, I have seen if if you are 
having this manglik dosh, you know, which means Mars is in these six houses. But if Mars is in a, a water sign, okay, if Mars is in a water sign, then I have literally seen this yoga not giving any bad effects because when Mars is in a water sign, the person is having a tendency to uh, be, be a bit humble and a bit down to earth. I have seen, especially somebody with debilitated Mars. Okay, So for married life, that is very good. In fact, a debilitated Mars is very, very, very good for married life. This is what I have seen. Now, of course, uh, debilitated Mars has different challenges, especially if it is there in a man's chart. Okay, that That is not... Are very good for other areas like career and other things but for married life we are talking we are only talking of married life we are talking of an individual area now we are not talking about the rest of the areas okay so either it's a man or a woman uh, even though they're debilitated mars or mars in pisces or mars in scorpio can have certain issues in other areas but for married life i have seen uh, that this mars doesn't exert itself uh, violence or any kind of you know aggression that 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 is not there generally i have seen and yes uh, disclaimer of course whatever i say here will depend on every individual horoscope so if you have uh, if you have a debilitated mars or mars in pisces and you you are manglik and you had a divorce so don't think that what i'm saying here is not true because you may have many other placements because of which this has happened okay so this is one thing which I have seen that if this is there, then the yoga, the negative influence of the yoga reduces. Then I have seen if uh, Mars is helped by Jupiter, then this yoga reduces. This hardly gives any effects by degree, which means if Mars is conjunct Jupiter or Mars is being aspected by Jupiter, Jupiter aspects the fifth, seventh, and ninth. So, if Jupiter and Mars are in trines to each other, then I have seen this yoga not giving that bad results. Why? 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 Because Jupiter is the planet of forgiveness. Yes, because it represents all the divine qualities. So, even though these people get angry and they want to uh, shout on their partner, but uh, they they have that necessary discipline to control their anger. All right. So this does not mean that the person does not get angry. But this means that even if the person gets angry, somehow the person has the ability to control. Provided, degreekally, they are actually aspecting. So it should not happen that uh, Mars is in Leo and Jupiter is in 5 degree of Leo and Jupiter is in uh, 28 degrees of Sagittarius. Then this aspect doesn't work because they are way, way, way ahead. You know, they are very different. Although they are in trines. Okay, so um, I have seen that if if they are very far apart and then the person is mangli, and even though Jupiter Mars are in trines, this yoga can give uh, difficulties and challenges in mid life. But if they are very close, and the same is with aspect, if one is in two degrees, another is in you know, twenty five degrees, that aspect is of no use. Uh, that conjunction or that aspect is of no use actually. Okay. The next thing that I have seen is if uh, Mars is conjunct the lords of the trines, then also the effect of this yoga reduces, all right? The negative influence of Mars reduces. So for example, if uh, Mars and Mercury are together and Mercury is one of the trine and lords, so suppose Mercury is the fifth lord, Mercury is the ninth lord, okay? Trines, five and nine, then this yoga reduces. The negative influence because the uh, fifth house shows uh, the good things that you get from your past lives and the ninth house shows the blessings of the guru so if mars is conjunct your ninth lord and it is placed in either of these six houses then i've seen the uh, effects of this yoga reducing because somehow uh, some senior or some elder or some guru in your family or in your tradition in your parampara in your lineage can help you by giving you some mantras or by you know trying to help you to get out of this manglik dosh all right so that is a very big positive factor which i have noted mars conjunct the trinal lords or aspected by the lords of the trines even then so if jupiter is the trinal lord and if jupiter mars are aspecting each other that's like double benefit because jupiter already reduces this yoga 
and if it is a trinal lord it is even 10 times more good okay the next thing that i have seen is if the person has a very strong jupiter in the chart which means jupiter is in the ascendant or it is exalted or it is in trines then this the effects of this yoga gets reduced by so many 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 times i have seen in fact this this is the most powerful placement i think which can totally counter because jupiter and mars are representing totally opposite qualities one represents punishment another represents forgiveness so when forgiveness is there then there's no place for punishment but this does not mean that if you are manglik and you have guru exalted or guru in trines or in lagna in big bulb the manglik yoga is cancelled it doesn't mean that it means you get angry but again you have a tendency to forgive others okay so that is extremely good then i have seen if uh, venus which is placed uh, with the trinal lords if venus is conjunct the lord of the trines then also this yoga's power uh, reduces the negativity reduces okay because venus represents relationships now let us discuss some of the things which i have seen if which uh, aggravating the negative things of this the negative side of this yoga okay and the first thing i have seen is if the seventh lord is badly placed i mean considering you are already manglik and then the seventh lord is badly placed okay then i have seen that uh, because seventh lord is badly placed means uh, the marriage is itself very difficult for you to continue okay and over that if you are manglik then the negativity increases okay so uh, for example if mars is in the second house and your seventh lord is in the sixth so then this is a really challenging placement so yes this uh, this is something which i have seen and then uh, another thing that i have seen which aggravates the negativity of this yoga is if mars is in kendra also kendra means of course if mars is in first fourth seventh you are already mangal but even if mars is in 10th house and uh, if you uh, if, if you have some other challenging placements like seventh lord in the eighth seventh lord in 12th seventh lord in 6th in these kind of placements you have and if mars is in 10th in dikbala or in either of the kendras i mean out of the four three already you are mangli but suppose if you are in 10th then also i have seen uh, uh, this um, uh, this mars creating some challenges in my life especially okay then i have seen if uh, if you are manglik and uh, if you have uh, other malefics in the ascendant i have seen or in the seventh house then the negativity gets aggravated so if you have malefics like sun saturn especially and rahu or ketu you know in that one seven axis and with that you are a manglik then this yoga becomes more aggravated because that sense of malefics give you a sense of hatred and deficiency and uh, sense of lack within all right so you might feel that oh what nonsense is this you know my marriage is not working and all this so these are some things which i have seen and the biggest thing which i have seen is uh, which uh, which aggravates this yoga is a difficult moon all right moon is in debility not even the debilitated moon afflicted moon i have seen debilitated moon is still fine you can somehow handle it but afflicted moon is millions of times more dangerous than a debilitated moon all right so debilitated moon is the person who has difficulty finding happiness in life but afflicted moon means even if there is happiness the person cannot feel it so that's that's more miserable because even if you get happiness you cannot feel so what's the use of that happiness which comes to you all right so i have seen a difficult moon an afflicted moon this is this is like huge i have seen in fact even if you are non manglik and you have if you have a difficult moon i have seen very difficult mad lives because it is very difficult to satisfy the other person you know whatever it's physically emotionally sexually mentally or whatever it's very difficult you cannot it's very difficult to satisfy somebody who who cannot be satisfied you know it's like counter counter intuitive <laughs> so yeah, apart from that if you are mangalik then it becomes very challenging not for you for the other person all right <laughs> so these are the things that i have seen and then i have also seen uh, especially if uh, 
Mars is conjunct Sun, which is another fiery planet. Okay, then also this yoga becomes more aggravated. I have seen because then two fiery planets are together, it creates too much pitta actually in the body that creates too much fire and aggression. And another thing that I have seen is uh, if Mars is conjunct uh, um, the other malefics, even then this yoga happens. You know? uh, this yoga becomes more aggravated, like Saturn and Rahu or Ketu, especially. So I would say Sun, Mars, and Sun, Mars, Ketu. These are most challenging placements if you are already Manglik. Okay. And apart from that, I have seen is if Mars is conjunct the Lords of the sixth, eighth, and twelfth. Then, uh, if Mars is conjunct the sixth lord, then it can show more of a tendency to be a celibate, to be single, or life makes you single somehow. Either ways, <laughs> or if the eighth and twelfth is involved, then there could be violence. You you may uh, you may not be able to control your anger. These things I have seen. If Mars is conjunct or aspected by the lords of the sixth, eighth, and the twelfth houses, okay. <clears throat> And then I have seen if uh, if your Venus is very badly afflicted, especially I have seen uh, Manglik and Venus afflicted by Saturn, or if Venus is afflicted by Mars also, hmm? then also this yoga gets more active, aggravated because if Venus is afflicted, you may you may have difficulty, you know, finding. Uh, happiness or satisfaction in physical pleasure or sexual pleasure, or you, know, you may feel that uh, I don't have a connection with my spouse. You know, so then above that, if you're monkly, then this yoga gets aggravated ten times. I've seen, <laughs> and of course, ultimately, I have seen if the lagna lord is badly placed, then also if you're monkly, this yoga gets aggravated ten times. And if the lagna lord is well placed, then this yoga's negativity reduces. I have seen. Okay. So <clears throat> these are the different factors that I have observed. And uh, there are thousands of factors, as I said. So you can also add down in the comments what are the factors that you have seen which are uh, increasing or nullifying the effect of this uh, negativity which this yoga causes. And uh, as I said, you may be thinking when I'm saying these yogas that uh, these plus and minus things, everybody has these plus and minus. Okay. Uh, and that's how lives of people are you know everybody has uh, issues in their married life of course like in their career so therefore everybody has good and bad but it depends on the extent to which it is good or bad okay so we are not talking of some black and white zone here life is not black and white it is gray most of the times but if these symptoms are there then it may tilt towards black or white okay but it will still be gray of course but more of white gray or black gray <laughs> okay so so you can also uh, analyze your own horoscope and you can give your feedback and there are many things of course uh, mars has to be seen from the upapada lagna from the arudha lagna so many things are there so uh, it is not very good for us to judge uh, one planet just by seeing the lagna chart of course we need to check the navamsha chart also so there are multiple ifs and buts which we need to analyze before um, uh, coming into conclusion regarding uh, one planet. Okay, so especially recently I had made a video on uh, Venus and the seventh lord. Okay, with Santeep ji, that was like the concluding part of the seminar in which I had spoken. So in that, I said, uh, if sun and moon are not well placed, I mean, not sun and moon, sorry. I said, if uh, somebody's, somebody had a bad childhood, somebody uh, had a difficult relationship with the mother and father, then, um, then uh, the person carries that emotional baggage and that somehow comes in their married life also sometimes. So then uh, pe many people told me that, oh, actually my son is in debility, but I don't have a bad relation with my father. So this shows how naive people are when it comes to astrology. So just one placement of the sun, see, sun is in debility from you know, 15th October to 15th November. Okay, sun is in Libra that time, it's in debility, one month. So do you think... Whoever is born in that entire freaking 30 days are going to have a bad relation with their father. No. 
sometimes people say oh my son is in dustana but how do i have a good relationship with my father well that is because you think like that because you 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 are not aware of astrology properly that that is that is one thing and then you have to check the ninth lord which planets are there in the ninth house where is the ninth lord placed where is the you have to check the dwadha samsa chart so imagine your father one personality do you think that one tiny little planet can uh, tell you everything about the father that's so foolish you know so don't just judge a horoscope for manglik yes or no just by seeing uh, the lagna chart okay or just by seeing mars you have to check jupiter you have to check moon as i said on afflicted moon aggravates this yoga you have to check the uh, placements uh, like the navamsha where is the navamsha lagna lord sitting where is your seventh lord of lagna chart sitting in the navamsha chart these are things that you must see so without seeing these things if you come to a vague fake useless stupid conclusion that oh my uh, seventh lord is exalted why did i have a divorce well then you are just uh, wasting your time with astrology it doesn't work like that all right so and these things it is very difficult to learn from youtube you, you you may understand certain things but best if you want to learn astrology is you have to join some course and you have to undergo some systematic training without that it is very 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 difficult to learn these things because you will learn all the small parts okay but you will not be able to combine there are people who i know they they tell me that they have been watching youtube astrology videos since last 5 years can you believe it 5 years every day they have been watching videos they've been watching my videos from last 3 years in fact this march i will complete 3 years in astrology and i mean sorry in youtube astrology so but they tell me that sir but still i don't know what my sun is doing what my mars is doing what my jupiter is doing in the, in fact after 5 years i see somebody's horoscope i cannot tell what will happen what predictions will come according to the stars because you are in a you are in a wrong place let's be very honest youtube is not the best place to study astrology it is a good place to start astrology but if you want to continue and become a serious uh, student of jyotish then you have to go out of youtube and do some courses and you must have a mentor who can actually teach you train you systematically that yes this is how you should learn astrology so when it comes to medicine you need how many years you know 5 years 6 years 7 years engineering it needs 4 years but it's very surprising when it comes to a deep intricate science and a very difficult subject like jyotish people they think just one month of seeing youtube videos will do the job all right i wish it did but unfortunately it doesn't all right so therefore if we want to really judge uh, what mars will do or what is mangali can all this stuff then you have seen this video you can get some idea but when you whenever you are seeing this video you must have a mentor with whom you can go and discuss this you, you should go and ask your mentor that sir uh, can you uh, show me five horoscopes which are mangli can five of them which had serious marriages so five of them which had divorce and five of them which had happy married lives okay quote and quote happy so then you check what is happening so then by your experience you will understand okay so if jupiter and mars are together maybe it's good but that's that doesn't nullify the yoga much but if jupiter is with moon and the person is mangli it's it, it nullifies the yoga much so you have to develop your own rules your own theorem your own system all right uh, you you can apply the system the rules which i say or some other uh, astrologer or some other youtuber say but you can also apply the rules from the classics but you have to understand when that will give result in which context okay and which are the other placements in the horoscope which can aggravate or nullify that good or bad yoga which is there in the horoscope all right and that only you can do no other astrologer can do for you nobody else can do it that you have to do by practice and uh, by deliberately putting efforts there and it takes time and patience okay so i always see people uh, they are like all the time they are in youtube watching astrology videos which great which is great there's no nothing wrong in that but then when i see the comments i understand how miserable and pathetic the situation is like they they write things like oh my jupiter is in third house what will happen this is like saying a person is born in madhya pradesh india what will happen anything can happen he may become a pauper he may become a beggar he may become a millionaire he may become you know bill gates anything can happen 
he may become a criminal, he may become like Yudhishthira Maharaj, anything can happen. So, the one planet, the Guru is in Lagna, so it doesn't mean you are Yudhishthira Maharaj, okay? Or Guru is in seventh, it doesn't mean uh, you are a bad person, okay? So, go into depth of astrology and learn things. Not just superficially grazing uh, YouTube videos, which is good for starting, but this will not give you fulfillment in the long run. Okay, you have to have a mentor and uh, you have to study as slowly stepwise. All right, thank you very much. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with your Manglik friends. <laughs> And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you shall find him. And if you want a consultation from me, you can go to the website down in the description section. Thank you very much.